are the Atlanta Hawks actually taking Alex R? Now, there's been a lot of rumors. There's been a lot of back and forth for this draft season. And there's been a lot of non-clarity when it comes to who the Atlanta Hawks are selecting at the first pick overall. Now, I will say Brian Woodhorse this morning, ESPN analyst came out and said that there is a real potential that the Atlanta Hawks take Sar number one overall. They have his medicals. They have his background. They went to see him play. They know what he's like. And they've done their due diligence on Alex Sar. And there's people in the Atlanta Hawks organization who believe that they could potentially take Alex R with the first overall pick. Now to that, I have a lot to say, but I know there's been a lot of back and forth. And more recently, we've kind of settled on Klingon being the number one overall pick to the Atlanta Hawks. And then it's kind of shifted to Risha Shea. Now to me, this move can mean two things. Number one, the Atlanta Hawks are actually interested in and Alex Sar. We know what kind of generational talent Alex Sar can be, but there's been questions on if he wants to come to Atlanta and if he actually wants to play center. What position does he actually want to play? But that's neither here nor there. Now, the second thing that's kind of throwing me off, and I hope it's not this, but what if the Atlanta Hawks are trying to increase the value of Alex Sar and kind of trade out of that first all overall pick? And if that's the situation, and if this is the last ditch effort to crank the value up on Alex R, as a Atlanta Hawk fan, and as a super, and as, as a guy who watches the Atlanta Hawks all the time, I'm talking to my Atlanta Hawks fans out there. We are 100 percent screwed because if the Atlanta Hawks want to increase the value of Alex R, all they had to do this whole time. Let's talk about how interested they are in Alex R. Develop and create that plan to increase his value so that you can trade back and have someone trade up to the number one over position, number one position because you're telling them you want him so much. But the Atlanta Hawks didn't do that. They went out and said, hey, we are interested in Rishi Shea or we're looking at all the potential candidates. We're looking at a guy that's going to best help this organization. And if your ultimate plan was to not draft Alex R, but draft Klingon, let's just say, why would you not come out at the beginning and say, we love Sar. If you want to come get him, you're going to have to pay for him. Now, like I said, I hope it may be number one where they're legit, they're legitimately thinking about drafting Alex R. But I will say, I hope it's not the second. Because to me, that says that the Atlanta Hawks clearly have zero plans on how to develop this team. All they had to it was handed to them on a silver platter. And all they had to do was go with the story. We want Alex R. Boom. Washington would have to pay up or San Antonio would have to pay up, give up four and eight. You can slowly drag it back. And I guarantee Klingon would have been there because nobody would have known that the Atlanta Hawks were interested in him. But Who knows? Literally no one knows what the Atlanta Hawks are doing. And that's very worrisome. We're three days away from the Atlanta draft, the the NBA draft. No one knows anything. No one's heard anything. Brian Whithurst came out this morning and said something. I don't know if this is a last ditch effort by the Atlanta Hawks. I don't know what it is. And to be honest, nobody knows anything what's going on. But I will say this. The Atlanta Hawks still have a chance to get it right. They still have a chance to build this ultimate roster that will help them now and in the future. And whoever they decide to pick, I just want to see a strategy that is implemented and it's executed to an elite level. That's all I want. Now, if you agree with this assessment, please do me a favor. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, please also do me another favor. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And if you want to see more videos like this, check this one out right here. And like always, peace.